Greetings, greetings, greetings. You're now tuned in to Soul for King Who Long Has a Dream. Pleasant mission, God bless you. I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective. With that being said, you can now enter a sacred space of love and light. Please use your discernment. Someone's using my pictures or videos claiming to be me trying to give you a personal reading. It is not me, all right? I only do collect the readings. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I love you so much. So that you can see everything that I do plus, I do. <laughs> so that you can see everything that I do post, make sure you hit the all button, all right? If you are a returning viewer, I love you so much and I'm grateful. Listen, I'm talking to my shamans, my doctors, my woo ladies, my gypsies, my fairies, my galactic beings, my star seeds, my star lights, my light seers, my light workers. I love you all so much. We are here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective together. So let's do that. Today, on the bottom, you have protection. You guys are protected. You need to know that you are protected. You're protected by earthly spirits. You're protected by the ethers, your ascended masters, and ancestors, okay? You may have a lot of creatures that may come up to you. I'll call them creatures of the low, which are dogs, cats, anything on four legs that usually walk even. An ostrich would be in between the creatures of the high and the low because it's considered a bird, but it walks on two feet because they're too heavy to actually fly. So you may be someone who be surrounded who may be surrounded by a lot of different um, creatures of the low, any animals that you may be seeing um, staring at you from a distance, you know, may fly past you or something like that. And it's just letting you know energetically that you are protected. Also, you need to protect your, um, your health. Eat more red, the security, the root, also red, um, color coordinated with your blood. So I'm seeing strawberries here. All right. I'm seeing strawberries. Maybe someone who also likes like croissants. I don't know where I was getting that from. You may like croissants. Maybe a strawberry croissant. Or you may be someone creating one of those. A strawberry is on top of your croissant. Like you like, like fruit on top of a croissant. You may eat a croissant and fruit in the morning in the rising. All right. You also can be an earth sign. You could be a Virgo towards a Capricorn. You don't have to be. It can be the signs that's in your chart. Just take the energy. All right. So when I see that, the energy that you're in right now, someone is very grateful, someone is very happy, all right, they're doing beauty rituals, or they're taking care of their their um their phys their physical appearance, all right, you could be doing beauty, 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 beauty rituals, I'm about to say booty, so this could be someone dancing in the, in the mirror, shaking your little rump, I'm getting that too, <laughs> You could be dancing, you know, you see yourself like you looking more beautiful, you happy. You could be like in the mirror like, hey, you know. I heard that black girl magic. Hey, so I'm speaking to um, my divine feminines. Okay, you don't also have to be of um, melanin, you know, because we do have different complexions here. I'm not only speaking to melanated black or whatever you choose to um, call thyself. I just heard black girl magic. So there are some melanated women here. But I'm speaking to all the queens because this is a channel where everyone's welcome. All right, we speak to all divine masculines and feminines. You are very magical, you're powerful, you flowing through your magic and it's beautiful, beautiful magic. Okay, your cinemasters and ancestors want you to know that you're flowing through your energy beautifully. You're being more grateful. You're happy. You're seeing the brighter things. You're getting out into nature. You may be seeing bluebirds as well. You're drinking your drinking. You may be drinking lavender tea. You may be using lavender essential oils when you're taking your baths and things or such. Yeah, I'm getting somebody doing moon magic, or you're getting ready, or you're getting ready. I'm getting that. See how these downloads be coming through, make you stutter. You're someone that's getting ready for a moon phase. And you could be creating the type of herbs and things that you want to put inside that bath. Because your power is being renewed. Your power is being renewed. All right? You're someone that's falling in love with, with yourself again. Someone who needs to get a lot of rest. You receive a lot of messages that way. You can also be receiving. You getting a um, 
you've been rejuvenated in your sleep because that's the time that your body truly heals because it's no longer moving around. So it it shuts down so that you can your body can um, rejuvenate. It can replenish itself. And that's the reason why when people say when they wake up, they're usually hungry or they're thirsty or they, they usually go straight to the to the bathroom because it cleanses itself. All right. And then when you decide to eat breakfast, which if you separate it, you're breaking your fast. So your body goes through a fast. It goes through a detox, a cleansing in the sleep. When you wake up, some people go straight to the restroom. Some people be very super thirsty, dehydrated. Some people are actually hungry when they wake up. They feel like they're hungry. Okay. And it's because your body cleanses itself in the sleep. Everything is breaking down, going to where it's supposed to go at. All right. And when you wake up, you're still going through a fast. Or when you rise, you're still going through a cleansing because you haven't put anything in it yet. Water, fruit, anything. So when you decide to wake up, you get your tea, your coffee, you eat, or whatever, you breaking your fast. And there's nothing really wrong with breaking it, but unless you just like me. Like, I'm a person who may drink tea and try to eat fruits or just drink a lot of water. I don't break my fast until, like, 12, and I decide to finally have me a meal. You know, because I do realize that it's a mind thing. No one, society make you think that you should just wake up and eat and you should drink. You get what I'm saying? Just like in the commercials, who really drinks juice and eats cereal? Not everybody do that. So don't, we can't make it seem like that's just normal. I didn't grow up like that. We didn't have orange juice at the table while we eating cereal. Mixing juice, orange juice and, and milk together is not going to sit right. You get what I'm saying? So... <laughs> You're someone who has your own resumes, you have your own rituals, you have your own things that you do when you rise, okay? You have your own things that you do before you go to sleep. You may be doing, like, different beauty things. Like, everyone's different. It's because you start to learn your body and you realize what works for you. When you sleep, it's better for you to do the beauty rituals and things to your body before you go to sleep because you see the difference when you rise. Or you may be someone who rather just sleep and wake up and do all your things, get up early and get your face and makeup and whatever together. But I'm also speaking to someone who you it's, it's like you're you're more you're nocturnal. You're someone who could be more potent at night, like your energy is more in it like you're more energetic at night. Okay? You're more energetic at night. Very nocturnal. You also may have a nocturnal pet. But also getting someone um, you need this who has anxiety. Like don't have you have anxiety or insomnia, and you need to you need to sleep so that you can receive these messages. Or someone that's probably afraid of sleep. Someone's afraid to sleep too, because something that probably happened in your dream or something. But your divine spirit team wants you to know that you are being protected and you're being watched over. You got power, dragon. You're being watched over, okay? You are, this is your, your power, your gifts can never be stolen, they're yours. You're never left unattended. Even if you sleep by yourself alone, like you alone or you sleep by yourself, you don't have no partner. Or even if you don't have any children and you just sleep by yourself, you're never alone. Your spirit team is around you. Your, your animal spirits are around you as well, okay? You're someone who also holds a lot of divine ancient wisdom. Very knowledgeable. You have old gifts. I say old gifts because they're passed down gifts. When I say old gifts or ancient gifts, they're passed down through your generation, through generation, from your ascended masters and ancestors. And they're embedded in your DNA code. And you, depending on the frequency, the vibration, or the energy that you're vibrating on, it's like you, you connect with that gift. And it, it wakes up. And it, it's like it attached yourself. It, it, it attached itself, itself to your cells. I'm speaking what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. I'm, it's like I'm seeing your gifts attach itself to your, to your DNA or to your cells. Your gift attached itself to your cells or your DNA. Because it's like it's always been there. You just had to be vibrating at a certain frequency so that you can receive it. So you may, like I said, you may be receiving your gifts also in your sleep. You may be getting an upgrade, okay? You may get, you may wake up one day and see yourself like you just look so much beautiful than you looked before. 
And it's because you went to sleep in that gratitude, that happiness. You went to sleep knowing that you are, you are magic and you have this divine power. I love this. It's like I was just, it's a lot of y'all watching, so it's a lot of energy being channeled right now. This is amazing. And what you're going into, what I see, what you, where you're heading into, you're heading into a time of just abundance, abundance, more, more knowledge, you, you, because you learn, you learn from your past, you learn from the phase, that time, in that present moment that you went through, you learn, you learn a lot, you learn about your energy, you learn a lot, you learned a lot about others. You seen things from a, a wider standpoint. You seen the bigger picture on things. Okay, you move strategically, and it's causing it's gonna it's causing miracles, and it's gonna cause miracles to continue to flow in your life like a waterfall. You could be seeing a lot of different butterflies, letting you know that you about to go through a, a transformation, a new beginning. That you about to spread your wings. Make a wish, take a chance, and break away. I spread my wings and I learned how to fly. I had heard that. Okay, you transcending. You are elevating. And that's because in your future, well, I'm going to say in your, say your future, sometimes I'm trying to choose how I pick my I'm trying to choose my words wisely. Because when people hear um, your future, they always think that you can tell the future. It's not me telling the future. I have to explain this because somebody's going to get this wrong. Whatever you do in the present affects your future. So the energy that you're in right now, and this is what I'm reading. This is the energy you're in. No matter when you see this, my readings are timeless. But what you choose to do in your present will affect your future. So this turnout of somebody that's elevating, high vibrational, so many miracles just coming into your life, so much abundance come from all shapes and forms, different ways, them gaining, gaining clarity and becoming more wise. That may not be for everybody. That's why they say take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Because you may be someone who that came here just for a piece of information and still going to go do what you want to do. You may be someone who may take all this information and still do what you want to do. That doesn't mean it's going to turn out this way. So I wanted to clear it up with someone when I accidentally said what I'm seeing in your future. What I'm seeing going towards the future. What I'm seeing going towards the future. Meaning your futuristic energy. The energy that you could be in. You get what I'm saying? You could be coming into more abundant, prosperous, high vibrational times, miracles, meeting people um, from different cultures, different backgrounds that are all just butterflies just like you with just different colors because they're unique. You may run into a yellow, a purple, a red. You get what I'm saying? Just like all the crayons in the box still do the same job. They're just different colors, different shades. So I'm getting that you also about to be into a position where you're very, very going to be very powerful, a very powerful position, high rank position, and you're coming with beauty, class, happiness, joy, gratitude, and your divine magic. And the power that you hold within you, that leadership role, that ancient wisdom, that ancient energy is leading you to running into or connecting with more high vibrational beings, more generous people that are willing to help you, that want to be a part of what you got going on. You're going to also run into others that are just as wise as you. Some you're going to um, you're someone that's going to learn from others. You know you're going to be slow to speak and quick to listen. You're going to use your two eyes and your two ears, but you're going to definitely use that third, that spiritual, that that pineal gland. You're going to definitely use that first eye. You're going to call on your ascended masters and ancestors to help guide you through this. And they are here. They're watching over you and they are protecting you. This is giving me two guardians. Because you got the dragon on top of, looking over down over her, making sure nobody don't mess with her power while she sleep. And then you also, it could be a little blurry, but then you also got the owl that's above her. And she don't, I don't think she even know that owl above her, the way she looking. Like, she's very confident in her energy. You're very confident. I could be speaking to a divine feminine, but it's also could be a divine masculine in his feminine energy of receiving mode. You're receiving more. You're receiving. You're taking care of. You're nurturing yourself. Taking care of your, the, your handsomeness. You're taking care of the, the outer appearance. 
okay? That magic, doing that magic, you may be someone who actually know how to do magic, like mirror magic, you know what I'm saying? And that's also, to me, more like affirmations, that mirror magic, I am beautiful, I am amazing, I love everything about me, I love that scar, that bump, my face is so clear, I look so young, I am youthful, I am loving, I am sexy, I look exactly how I ever wanted to look in my life, like, affirmation, power lies in the tongue, you're speaking that over your life, that is magic. You may be happy and so grateful about how you look too. You finally accomplished the goal that you were going, you were reaching for, and you finna, you're you're about to. I have to say you finna, <laughs> you finna, you finna. My bonnet's coming out. You finna. <laughs> you are about to enter this new phase in your life and this is an amazing phase you got wisdom miracle transcending and generosity that is amazing that's just giving me like somebody walking through the door and you shaking hands with the most wisest person and you're learning and then that created a miracle for something else because it opened doors to other doors and then you sitting so high that it's even unbelievable to you how all this the miracles keep happening all this the generous offers are coming and it's because your dreams are coming true. You took care of yourself. You continue to stay grateful, show gratitude. You never treated anybody different because how they treated you. This is amazing. I love this so much. Let me go ahead and we're going to use the Ascended Masters and Ancestors Oracle Hiller deck. So this card wants to be stubborn. I'm going to leave it. I like stubborn cards sometimes because they hold messages. See what your Ascended Masters and Ancestors want you to know. I'm going to pull two more. All right. Let me clear these up real quick. All right. So in the midst of me cleaning these up, three more stayed behind. So... I'm being obedient. I'm a, okay. I'm gonna go with those first, and they were sitting on top of gratitude. So you got zealous, yes, very passionate on top of gratitude. Zealous that per I keep saying purple here, so this is definitely the third eye in the crown. Gratitude, that passion, that this is the higher heaven. All right, you 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 going, you going through this phase. Head, head on with so much fire and so much passion and gratitude. It's an equal balance of I'm so grateful and I'm just like ready. <laughs> also, I got rainbows. You could be seeing rainbows. All right. You just want to feel connected to rainbows. You someone that's probably learning a different about um, the rainbow being a portal. I always think about when I do the lucky charms. He always wanted to get away. He always throw out a charm real quick and it, it made a rainbow a rainbow so that he can escape so that he can I'm also getting rainforest I'm also getting rainbow you may be someone who's into archery, uh, ar archery and you may have a ring on your finger with the bow and arrow like you, I don't know you may be buying gears to do archery Maybe learning, like you may be buying equipment for archery. That's what I started seeing. But then you also got, I'll start scratching, that's that crown. You got stepping into your divine legacy. So you're stepping into your divine legacy. At this moment of time, you're someone that is stepping into your power. You become, you're becoming that, that divine master, that divine feminine. I love this so much. You got ego. Ego was next to power and transcendent. Eagle fly like an eagle to the sea, and this is the Pegasus. Fly high, you someone that's gaining your wings, maybe send an eagle, being bold and very brave. I'm getting pure hearted, you're very pure hearted, and this was actually next to generosity and magic. 
You're very pure, and someone sees that and they want to offer you something. Someone can pick up on your pure magic and how pure it is, and they they want to they want to work with you. Okay, you could be someone from, also from. I'm here in Georgia, Massachusetts. You don't have to be. You may know someone from there that may want to be generous to you. Also, you may be someone you or your children may like. Not every child does. That's what I'm saying. Is for somebody you you like eating waffles or pancakes with your children, because I'm also because of that maple, that syrup I'm getting. Okay, and to each his own. Because not everyone likes the high fructose corn syrup. To each his own. Take resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. All right. We do not judge. This is a judgment free channel. We got yellow. Wear it. So on top of wisdom, you need to wear yellow. Okay, on top of wisdom, wear yellow. That helps with the solar plexus, your seat of your soul, that divine energy. Wear yellow. It's very bright. I'm thinking, I'm seeing sunflowers. That bright energy, that sunshine, that, that kind of, that center of attention. Yellow, wear it. Also, you can get you, um, see, I have on Oshun, for Ifa, Oshun, yellow, and she has a citron citron connected to her and this is a, a, a Oshun charm bracelet it has the sunflowers and it has the little bells on it but it has a citron stone and I got this from Enchanted Jewels you can look up her Enchanted Jewels she's a lovely lady down in Florida um, I just love her I could say so much about her but I don't want to make the whole video about her but she's amazing she's helped me through a lot I've, um, we connected we bonded right away she's just She's overall a great person. She's a sweet spirit. She she helps. Like sometimes um, when she had her shop in the inside before she moved, she was inside of a mall. And she went from a, a, a stand, a booth, to a whole shop. And she wanted me to see it so bad. But I moved, you know, and I wanted to go see that, that new building that she has now. Because I remember when she was inside the mall inside of a booth she's very like open and she's very intelligent you know me and her i'm going to do business together i'm going to also um put some of my books in her shop like she's amazing i just want you to know that everything is handmade handcrafted she make jewelry for your ethers for your what they say your locks your antennas um she create these i also have i also have shingle you know the, the x's she creates everything she create different type of crowns big big pieces like um rings elixirs like she's great what she does so check it out enchanted jewels i love her let her know that soulful king sent you all right let her know because i try to send people her way all the time she's amazing and i love that you um, how her children are so involved and so intelligent and free-spirited and they've always been that way since i've been knowing her yep 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 so I wanted to put that out there for someone who's probably looking for yellow crystals or stones. You know, you need to go get you a yellow head wrap or a shirt. You may be seeing yellow butterflies. You could be seeing yellow birds. This is all letting you know that great things are happening in your life. There's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of success I'm getting around you. A lot of success. I'm also getting gold coins. So a lot of abundance, pinnacles. I said generosity here. You got miracles, gratitude and happiness. You know, it says you are a leader of divine beings. The sending masters and ancestors want to know that you are a leader. And I said that in the beginning, you are a leader. You're someone that's stepping into your, your what makes you become an ascended master is once you've mastered your, your energy. You master your energy, you master others' energy, you master the phase. You mastered that phase in your life because you're going to continue to keep elevating. You're going to continue to keep mastering. But, you know, you could have been someone who went through a lot in your life throughout all your years. And you finally hit through that threshold and stepping into a new phase of your life. That means you've mastered whether it took you 38 years to get it together, 48, 58. It does not matter. You do not measure your life using someone else's ruler. You mastered from zero to 58. And I'm proud of you. If nobody else is. And that's a phase of your life. Okay? And now that you've mastered that, you became an ascendant master of that phase, now you're stepping into a new phase of your life and you're going to have to become a master. That. 
you know, you're going to continue to keep mastering and keep mastering and keep mastering. Because you, you being a sender ancestor means you are, you are a high vibrational person out of all your ancestors. You have other ancestors, but they probably wasn't vibrating as high as you. Um, t this is me telling this to somebody. I don't know why this is coming through, but I do know why someone needs to hear this. You are an ascendant master, and it's because you've ascended past your other ascestors. You as you ascended past even your living relatives and ans well ancestors be considered more dead, but they're still living. You get what I'm saying? They live through you. But the people that are here in the physical realm, you probably are vibrating a lot higher than them. And it's not that you're better than them. It's just the path that you chose for thyself. You actually standing in your purpose. That's the reason why you're vibrating so high because you're standing in your truth, in your purpose. You're standing in your power. That's why you are a um, leader of divine beings. Why? Because you were passed down the gift to lead other divine high vibrational beings as such but you had to master thyself first so that you can help others through your journey through your stories and things like that because you never want to master other people we don't want to control people we don't we don't want to do stuff like that we want to master ourselves we want to have control over thyself flow through my own energy my own journey and help others along the way. Make sure you chew your meat and throw your bones. Because the same way that this person, whoever I'm, I'm speaking, how your life turned out, the things that you had to go through to, to get to this point in your life, no one else can walk in your shoes because they're not you. They didn't have the same advantages you had or disadvantages you had. They're not you. And that's what make you you. You are amazing. You are beautiful, and I love you so much. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm just such a loving person. And the last but not least, this is the reason why I love you so much. It says you trash to some, but you treasure to some. Do you not see that? Some people may think you trash, but you treasure to some. You know, they say one trash is next man's treasure. It's true. It's so true. It's so true. Because, you know, say, um, I don't know why I'm getting on the physical, but they say even the finest people don't think they fine. Okay? And I'm one person like that, too. I, you know, because we're our we're own biggest critics. So I think there's a lot of things I love a lot about me, even the imperfections. But it comes a point in time where something that, even though I love it, I may not pay much attention to it. You may pay more attention to the thing that I may be like, man. And that's what they mean about, you could be trash to someone, but turn to someone. Even to yourself, you may, it's two, it was two twelve on the clock, two one two. Someone else may be like, you know, like, nah, you ain't good at that. Like, uh, but then someone else can see the potential in you. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If he actually just stay consistent and be more disciplined in it, he will do amazing in this. Like, like you, because it's next to wisdom. Someone can see the spark in you. Someone can see that light in you. Someone can someone can see that divine energy in you. Also, you, someone who can see it in others. Like, you must, you can see people's whole, their gifts, their life. Like, them talking to you, you can just, like... Because I, I, I'm telling you, I speak... I always speak from my experiences, but I know I'm speaking to someone who resonates with me. Out of uh, four billion people on the earth, I'm not the only one to think like this. I know when you're speaking to people and people be telling you about their life and what they into and stuff like that. Sometimes you, you go off into a vision where you can see their whole life play before your eyes. You see it all. You can see all. You, you already creating everything in your head. And it's like, that's what I mean about when I say it's people may think you're telling the future. But it's not. It's like you having these premonitions, but you also using your imagination based on what they're saying to you. And I got that because I got basketball. Like, I'm one person that, I'm not really, I'm not good at basketball, trash to some. I barely can dribble, but I like shooting. I like having fun. It's a good exercise. But I look at I look back at the camera, and I hear people who are surrounding me saying, like, oh, it made me think that's a hidden talent. You know, you may, you may be pretty good, you know. And that's, I was trash to some. That may be talking mad shit. But there's some people who think I'm a treasure. Like, bro, I want you on my team. Even though you're not dribbling that good, you're really good. You can shoot. Actually, I didn't even realize that. I can actually shoot better than I can dribble. I can really, really shoot. And I shoot with my left. I'm as pedestrian. I'm, I, I write my right 
but I bowl with my left, I throw with my left. I pretty much do most of the stuff with my left. I, I even taught myself I brush my teeth with my left because I was so used to doing it to the right. So the most you'll see me do with the right is probably open the door, close it, and right. Obviously crank up the car. But other, other than that, I'm always using my left. So you may be trash to some people, but you're treasure to some. And one person you should be treasure to is yourself. And I think everybody is a treasure because my favorite quote that I came up with is that we're all unique jewels in the same treasure chest. You just need to figure out what are you? You know, everybody want to be a diamond, but there's gold in there. There's emerald, there's rubies, there's other valued crystals and stones that are there too. There's pearls, there's even the map. And most of the time, the pirate, the thief, don't even want the gold or none of that. They be looking for the map. So some people think that you trash because they're looking for abundance. They're looking for the quick way out. They're looking to get what you could. They think that you got something. And you do. You have that divine light within you. And that's where the treasure is. The map. It's the journey. The, the pirates want the map. They looking. They got the treasure with a map in it. But they want the map because that map's leading them to another treasure. So the phase in your life that you've been going through is, and you finally have accomplished it or mastered it, is now leading you to something bigger and better. And that's what it's giving me with this miracles and this transcendence generosity. And that's why I say you trash to some, but you treasure to some. You trash to some, but treasure to some. Because some people may think like, oh, you, you, you behind or you taking too long. Or we already know this. We already been through that. That doesn't matter. None of that matters. Because when it's your time, ain't nobody going to do it like you. When it's your time, ain't nobody going to... It's your time. It's your time now, to be honest. It's your time. Just go ahead and step out. You step into your divine legacy already. You're passionate. You're, you're very grateful. You pay attention to detail. You're very high vibrational. Being, you're someone that's very in tune. You're very magical. You, you take care of your outer appearance, your physical. You definitely take care of the physical. But you do take care of your spiritual as well. I'm not discrediting that but you're someone that likes to take care of your beauty on the outside you not you like to make sure you're okay whether you dress nice or just look good for your own comfortability not for other people for your comfortability okay you be you may be receiving a lot of different dreams a lot of different messages to your dreams or your dreams and fantasies are finally coming through coming through I was gonna say come true, but your dream messages, your dream messages are coming through. You're getting dream messages. I love the spirit be late. My words, I sometimes it, it's, I'm gonna say it's aggravating. It just it, it it gives you a block because you're trying to say something and then something else coming through while you're trying to say that. But also I like it because it shows how in tune that you are on that frequency that you're trying to give out a message and you receive a message as you're giving it. Like I said, you trash or something, but you treasure or something. Because that keeps sticking out to me. And you need to realize that. That you treasure, man. Forget what other people say about you. Or what they may feel about you. Keep shining. What's some yellow? Shine. Somebody say yellow don't look good on you. It look good on me because I feel like it look good on you. And more people with the darker complexion, yellow do stand out more. Because you're so dark that it has no choice but to shine. Okay? And the ones of a lighter pigmentation, yellow is still resonates with you. The color itself, that solar plexus energy, that brightness, that gold, okay? Very, that, I'm here, I'm getting shimmer, that shimmering energy. This is amazing. I love this reading so much. I'm gonna leave this right here. I am grateful. I'm so grateful and I'm honored. If you want to know anything else about me, all my information is left in the description box below. If you want to donate to the channel, all my information is left in the description box below. I thank you all so much, okay? So peace, love, and light. Namaste. I'm going to send all your divine energy back to you with love and light. And I'm going to call my divine energy back to me with love and light. Amen. I share you. I eat,